Jason, how did this get started? Basically, we've had a number of firefighters that have been exposed and recovered from uh, COVID-19. Someone from the Irving Fire Department reached out to us. They were the ones that said, gee, we've been seeing these you know, promotions and the, the call out for the need for convalescent plasma donors. And guess what? We've got a whole bunch of them right here that are probably eligible. And we're like, yay, <laughs> bring it. <laughs> it was great. Our firefighters uh, obviously like to give back and wanted to make a difference, not only in battling this disease on the front lines in our emergency response, but also saw this as an opportunity where they could do something kind of behind the scenes to help the continued fight against COVID-19. How important is this plasma? Well, you know, the hospitals are telling us it's very important. Uh, they're the ones that are treating the patients and they're, you know, giving a lot of positive feedback. And they're using that in the treatment of seriously ill patients that other treatments aren't necessarily working as well for. So we're glad to be in a position to be able to help save lives in this way. It definitely feels great. You know, I myself uh, have not donated. I haven't been exposed to COVID-19, um, but I know a number of other people have and uh, are very, very happy and feel like they're doing something that's very rewarding and makes a big difference in the community. As you mentioned earlier, the department has had some cases. How are firefighters and the department as a whole doing through all of this? We're actually doing really well. We've had relatively very few cases, you know, than other cities around us, I think. and. Uh, our guys that have been exposed, quarantined, and have recovered uh, very well. So we're, we're really happy with how we've done so far. How much do you appreciate the Irving Fire Department coming forward in this way? Oh my gosh, you know, we really appreciate when people are proactively coming to us to say, hey, we think we've got something here that can, that can help. We're hoping that uh, us being the first fire department to get our members to donate this convalescent plasma will cause other fire departments in the surrounding area to do the same thing. I just really want people to understand that if you are a survivor of COVID-19, you are in a very unique position to be able to help others. Not just any old blood donor can help in this situation. It definitely is right in line with our department mission. I mean, I, ultimately we're here to save lives and protect property and, and this is directly in line with that.